Hello dear students, welcome again. In this uh, video, I am going to discuss uh, MCQ questions uh, based on chapter 3 of semester 3 macroeconomic syllabus. So dear students, in the first two videos, I have already covered chapter 1 and chapter 2. As far as your examination is concerned, uh, most probably this time, uh, which is a starting from probably that is also date is not uh, still fixed, but uh, most probably after 15th of March, uh, the questions will be combination of uh, MCQ questions as well as subjective questions. For MCQ questions, you can follow my MCQ series up to now. This will be the third video on uh, your syllabus and as far as subjective questions are concerned uh, you can follow the video lectures on uh, different topics uh, till now i have completed uh, up to chapter four first topic remaining three topics video i'll be uploading very soon so dear students if you are visiting my uh, channel for the first time you can subscribe my channel and please like it so that the video is shared with large number of people so dear student let us move on to uh, the topics these are the topics on the screen you can see on which the mcq questions are based on that is theories of output and employment uh, broadly we will be discussing questions on classical and Keynesian theory of income and employment. So let us directly move on to the first question. Which one of the following is not an assumption of classical uh, theory? Price flexibility, unemployment, says law, neutrality of money. Here, uh, the correct answer is unemployment. In fact, all other three price flexibility says law and neutrality of money are the assumptions of classical theory and classical theory assumes full employment not unemployment so b is the correct answer here next question in classical theory the equality between saving and investment is brought about by rate of interest income consumption multiplier here correct answer is it is the rate of interest which uh, equalizes saving and investment uh, in classical theory third question the normal condition of a capitalist economy in classical theory is underemployment full employment general unemployment frictional unemployment again the correct answer is full employment because the uh, normal condition under classical theory is uh, full employment next question the level of employment is a function of dash in classical theory means an employment depends on price level money wage rate quantity of money real wage rate so under classical theory it is the real wage rate which influences the level of employment or level of employment is function of real wage rate so correct answer is d moving on to the third question the idea that general a general cut in wages will finally lead to a state of full employment was suggested by which economist Keynes marshall jb say ac pigu so this uh, general cut in wages was suggested by ac pigu to bring about full employment in the economy so d is the correct answer next question supply creates its own demand is the idea of jb say samuelson jm keynes milton friedman so no doubt this is a famous quotation given by jb say so a is the correct answer next question the concept of lesses fere was the con contribution of classical economist 
neoclassical economist, Keynesian economist, supply side economist. So this laissez faire uh, was also a contribution of classical economists, which means non interference of government. Laissez faire means non interference, means government will not interfere in economic activity, non interference right that is the meaning of laissez faire economy so a is the correct answer quantity of money according to classical theory will determine the saving and investment national output real wage price level so it is the price level which is largely influenced by quantity of money under classical theory so d is the correct answer Next question, the deficiency of aggregate demand during depression leads to seasonal unemployment, voluntary unemployment, involuntary unemployment, frictional unemployment. So deficiency of aggregate demand during depression leads to involuntary unemployment, which was given by Keynes. So C is the correct answer. In Keynesian model of income determination, autonomous in investment occurs due to change in income, change in employment, change in profit, change in social welfare program. So here the correct answer is change in social welfare programs. Autonomous investment is that investment which is independent of change in income and it is usually uh, done by the government or government uh, programs. So that's why the correct answer is change in social welfare programs. Okay, so D is the correct answer here. Next question, which one, which among the following is not a feature of Keynesian theory? Short run, wage price flexibility, fiscal policy and the employment equilibrium. So here correct answer is wage price flexibility which was the assumption of classical theory and Keynes believes that there is wage and prices are more sticky wages especially are more sticky so Keynes theory is for the short run and gives importance to fiscal policy believes in underemployment equilibrium so B is the correct answer here and this B is not the feature of Keynesian theory okay so b is the correct answer here then in the classical theory output and employment are determined by production function demand for labor and supply of labor effective demand both a and b here correct answer is both a and b these two are uh, the uh, fun, uh, factors on which um, output and employment is determined under classical theory whereas effective demand concept wa uh, was given by Keynes not uh, by the classical economists so T is the correct answer here under Keynesian theory uh, uh, employment and output is determined by saving investment equality production function effective demand demand for money and supply of money so here correct answer is effective demand Keynes given uh, importance to effective demand the equality of aggregate demand and aggregate supply which bring which influences output and employment in the economy so c is the correct answer the concept uh, money illusion is firstly coined by First, Irving Fisher, Milton Friedman, Alfred Marshall, J.M. Keynes. So the concept, concept of money illusion uh, was uh, uh, given by Irving Fisher. A is the correct answer. Under classical theory, rate of interest is determined by demand for money and supply of money, demand for capital and supply of savings, demand for investment and price level, demand for investment and supply of money. Under classical theory, uh, rate of interest is determined by demand for capital and supply of saving. So B is the correct answer here. The expansion in money supply does not 
uh, affect the real output and employment in the economy indicates effectiveness of monetary policy, effectiveness of fiscal policy, neutrality of money, money illusion. So correct answer is neutrality of money. That means the money expansion of money does not affect the real output. It does affect the price levels. So money is neutral in this sense that money uh, expansion of money does not affect the uh, real output under uh, uh, this situation. That is the meaning of neutrality of money. Okay, so C is the correct answer. Then Keynes wrote the book General Theory of Employment, Interest and Money in the year 1929, 1933, 1936, 1935. So certainly this is a memory based question. So Keynes wrote the book uh, in 1936. So C is the correct answer. Next, the two pillars of classical economics are the Phillips current says law, no? says law and quantity theory of money, quantity theory of money and liquidity preference, says law and liquidity preference. So correct answer is B that is says law and the quantity theory of money are the two main pillars of classical economics. Next question, in the classical view, the price level is determined by aggregate uh, supply, aggregate demand and supply, supply of money, aggregate demand. So here C is the correct answer. In fact, this similar type of question is also uh, included in this MCQ series. So supply of money is the correct answer here C. Next question, Keynes in economics became popular because it gave solution to stagflation of 1970s, a recession in 19, uh, sorry, 2008, long low growth rates in 1950s, great depression of 1930s. Yes, the correct answer is D because on the backdrop of great depression of 1930s, Keynes and economics became popular. He gave uh, that uh, theory of general theory of employment. Okay, so D is the correct answer. Who is considered as father of modern macroeconomics? Ragnar Frisch, Adam Smith, J.M. Keynes, Milton Friedman. So it is undoubtedly J.M. Keynes who is considered as father of modern macroeconomics. C is the correct answer. Under Keynesian framework, income is measured along 45 degree line, vertical line, horizontal line. None of the above correct answer is horizontal line. Income is measured along the horizontal line. According to two sector Keynesian model, the aggregate demand is summation of consumption expenditure and investment expenditure, consumption expenditure only, investment expenditure only, none of the above. So correct answer is A, this summation of consumption expenditure and investment expenditure. So is the correct answer here. Next, effective demand is where aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply, demand for money is equal to supply of money, saving is equal to supply, uh, none of the above. Correct answer is effective demand is a situation where aggregate demand is equal to aggregate supply. So A is the correct answer. Moving on to the next question, when did the Great Depression hit United States? 2007, 1929, 1936, 2001. So B is the correct answer. That is 1929 when uh, United States hit by the Great Depression. In classical theory of employment, there is a possibility of voluntary unemployment, no unemployment, involuntary unemployment, disguised unemployment. There could be because classes believe that there is always full employment. But full employment, there could be possibility of voluntary unemployment. If people voluntarily may remain unemployed, unemployed in any situation. So A is the correct answer here. According to classical economists, variations in uh, saving 
are due to level of investment rate of interest level of employment good supply so it is the rate of interest under classical economics on which savings depend so b is the correct answer saving is a function of export import investment income so here you see the similar type of question is there but here it is dip, the options are among these options income is the relevant which is proposed and analyzed by Keynes that saving is mainly function of income against the classical view that saving depends on rate of interest so d is the correct answer here and entrepreneurs will have no tendency to expand or contract output and employment when aggregate demand greater than aggregate supply aggregate demand less than aggregate supply aggregate demand equals to aggregate supply none of the above correct answer would be when both aggregate demand and aggregate supply are equal entrepreneurs will have no tendency to expand and contract because that will be the condition of equilibrium or balance so c is the correct answer here next question the classical economists believe that uh, the demand for labor is a function of total money wages, money wage rate, total real wages, or real wage rate. So it is the real wage rate on which demand for money depends under classical theory. The aggregate production function implied under classical theory uh, is long run, short run, no time element, none of the above. So certainly the classical theory uh, was proposed in the long run, not in the short run, unlike Keynes and theory. So A is the correct answer here. Wages and prices do not adjust quickly to restore general equilibrium is a property of classical economics, Keynes and economics, monetary economics, supply side economics. So this was suggested by Keynesian economics that wages prices do not adjust quickly. It is more sticky to restore general equilibrium. Okay, so B is the correct answer here. Next question dear student market does not clear is a proposition of neoclassical theory, Keynesian economics, monetarism, rational expectation. So here again, this B is the correct answer that is Keynesian economics, uh, you know, does not uh, believe in this proposition that supply creates its own demand. So that's why this is against that belief that supply creates its own demand. Market does not clear is a proposition of Keynesian economics. So B is the correct answer here. Autonomous investment is income inelastic, unstable, interest elastic, income elastic. So in fact, here correct answer is uh, income inelastic autonomous investment does not depend on uh, income so that's why income inelastic a is the correct answer here next in the keynesian two sector model or sector economy ad aggregate demand greater than aggregate supply then which one will be true saving will be equal to investment saving will be greater than investment saving will be less than in investment and saving will be equal to zero so here correct answer actually would be uh, c because ad when you write you can write ad is nothing but c plus i greater than as that is c plus s so you can see this is common variable so you can see saving less than investment so c will be the correct answer here Next, according to Keynes, the most important determinants of consumption is rate of interest, saving, income, investment. So income largely depends on, uh, sorry, consumption largely depends on income. Okay, so income influences both consumption as well as saving under the Keynesian analysis. Okay, so this C is the correct answer here. In a two sector economy, aggregate demand is equal to C plus I, C plus S, S plus I, all of the above. Correct answer is the first one, C plus I. This similar type of question uh, I have already included earlier also, but here it is notational form. Okay, so you must be aware of this is consumption, summation of consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure. So A is the correct answer here.
Dash economics is a term that refers to the school of thought for economics in the 18th and 19th century. So undoubtedly correct answer is classical uh, economics. It is not Keynesian, it is not new classical, it is not modern, it is classical economics is a term that refers to the school of thought uh, for economics in during this period 18th and 19th century. Which one of the following is not the classical economist? Uh, N. N. Robert, Jack Sturwood, Jean Baptist Say, Adam Smith, Ragnar Frisch. So here correct answer is Ragnar Frisch who is not a classist, classical economist, all other three are the classical economists. So D is the correct answer. Which one of the following is not assumption of classical economists, full employment and laissez faire economy, close economy, labor is heterogeneous, flexible wages and prices. So correct answer is labor is heterogeneous. This is not the assumption. Actually classes uh, believe that labor is homogeneous. So this C is the correct answer of this question. All other are the assumptions of classical economics and here it is it should be in fact labor is homogeneous that would, it would have been the uh, all assumptions of classical economics. So C is the uh, incorrect assumption. So it is not the assumption of classical economics. C correct answer. Next in the long run we are all dead. Who said this? This is also a famous quotation given by J.M. Keynes. So correct answer is C. Which one is not the assumption of Keynes theory of income and employment? Keynes theory is based on certain assumption. So which one is not the assumption? Short run, this is correct. Change in technology, this is not correct. In fact, Keynes believe uh, Keynes propounded his theory of income on the assumption that it is for the short run and there is no change in technology, population, labor do not change, wages is sticky. So all other are correct assumption, but this is not correct. B. Keynes believed that assumed technology also as constant, but here the answer uh, in this point it is change in technology. So this is not correct assumption under the Keynes theory of income employment. So B is the correct answer here. According to Keynes theory, the volume of employment depends on the level of income, export, import technology. So no, undoubtedly the correct answer is A, that is income determines the volume of employment. Next question, aggregate demand price is the proceeds or receipts which entrepreneurs dash expect to receive at different levels of employment and production. So the correct answer is actually expect to receive actually expect to receive at different levels of employment and production that is the uh, definition of aggregate demand price next question aggregate supply price is the total amount of money which all entrepreneurs in the economy taken together dash expect to receive from the sale of output produced by the given number of laborers employed so here uh, the correct answer should be must expect to receive from the sale of output produced by the given number of laborers and employed so a is the correct answer here which is our the key point of Keynes theory main reason of unemployment is deficiency of aggregate demand this is correct then second is full employment is not normal characteristics of capitalist economy this is also correct unemployment can be reduced or removed by increasing aggregate demand this is also correct so the correct answer here is all of the above which point is against the Keynes theory of employment? Borrowing causes higher interest rates and financial crowding out. This is against the Keynes theory. It takes long time to change aggregate demand. This is also against the Keynes theory. Fiscal expansion causes inflation. This is also against theory. So all of the above is the correct answer. In fact, all are the criticism of Keynes theory. So, okay, so these are uh, the uh, for D is the correct answer here okay so thank you so much dear students so in this video we have discussed almost uh, 40 to 48 questions I think 48 questions and in the next video the last uh, chapter that is chapter number four I'll be making soon so thank you so much dear students good luck